This is Christina Fiore of MedPage Today. There have been numerous epidemiological studies on the potential links between brain cancer and cell phone use, but until now, few researchers have looked at the actual physiological effects that radio frequency and electromagnetic fields from the devices can have on brain tissue. Dr. Nora Volkov, head of the National Institute on Drug Abuse, and her colleagues examined that question in a study published in JAMA. The radio frequencies from the cell phones which are very weak, and that's why many people disregarded them as being able to change brain function, indeed can change brain activity in the human brain. Volkov and colleagues enrolled 47 patients who had one cell phone placed on each ear while they lay in a PET scanner for 50 minutes. Patients had their brain glucose metabolism imaged twice, once with the right cell phone turned on and once with both phones turned off. 50-minute exposure to a cell phone was associated with increases in glucose consumption by the brain, which indicates that the brain was being activated by the radio frequencies from the cell phone. This right area of the brain that was very close to the antenna showed the largest increases in metabolism as compared when the telephones were off. Volkov and colleagues say the findings support the idea that although radio frequencies emitted from cell phones are weak, they can indeed activate human tissues. Yet any clinical significance remains unknown. Dr. Andrew Sloan, director of the Brain Tumor and Neuro-Oncology Center at University Hospital's Case Medical Center in Cleveland, said the findings are important but preliminary. What this tells us is that the radio frequency energy or perhaps the electromagnetic energy, we, we can't really tell, uh, emitted from these cell phones does have an effect on the brain and glucose metabolism. The effect is rather small but significant, so we, we don't think it's a, a, a matter of chance. The question is, what does this mean and what are the implications? And uh, the, the truth is, it's really hard to know. Um, most people would not have a cell phone in the on position for 50 minutes muted. So this radiation was, uh, the, the brain was exposed to this radiation, but the brain wasn't functioning. Volkov's group has not yet devised plans for a follow-up study. For MedPage Today, I'm Christina Fiore.